Mr. Chairman. Um, and thank you for having this hearing. Um, I, I must say that listening to some opine on this subject, not here, of course, uh, one is a little alarmed that some would become a latter day Torquemada, uh, willingly reinstating the Inquisition, only this time against the secular state. Uh, no member of this committee or of the body, the Congress, can purport to speak for the Catholic Church or for all Catholics, and I say that respectfully to my colleagues as a Catholic. Um, we may actually, in a pluralistic society, as Catholics, have different points of view, and I would hope that difference in a pluralistic republic would be respected. We can disagree. But the idea that dissent and disagreement are to be somehow suppressed is not America, nor is it the American Catholic Church in America, as I understood it growing up as a Roman Catholic who went for many years through college uh, as in Catholic education. So nobody speaks for me as an American Catholic, uh, and especially in a pluralistic society where we are trying to grapple with serious issues. Now, I, I hope this hearing is the narrow scope the Chairman has said, but I am alarmed that the minority was denied witnesses. I am alarmed that new documents at the last minute are entered into the record not shared with the minority, but in the possession, apparently, of the majority for some time. Um, I am alarmed when people use hyperbolic rhetoric, which might suggest to some, certainly not to me, that actually the purpose of the hearing, as Mr. Tierney suggested, is to try to smear the Obama administration with a label that, if true, would be very disturbing. And as a Catholic, I would like to believe it is not true. In fact, there is plenty of prima facie evidence that it is not. I reiterate uh, the question, Mr. Sheldon, did you say that, in fact, in the last several years, $650 million has gone through your agency alone? two Catholic entities in America. Is that correct? In the last three years. And Mr. Nagash, you are in the refugee business. I assume Catholic Relief Services is a recipient of Federal money for refugee resettlement and care. That, that's correct. Could you speak up? We can't hear you, sir. That's correct. Any idea about the amounts? I believe that was in the Office of Refugee Resettlement. The Catholic uh, bishop received more money than any other uh, grantee. More money than any other grantee? I believe so. And would it also be true that CRS would be, which is a wonderful organization, I've worked with it in my past, uh, as also the recipient of AID dollars and PL 480, Food for Peace dollars, and commodities? I'm not sure what kind Take of funding they have. Yeah, I think the answer is a big yes. So the idea that there's some systematic attempt to uh, a bias implemented against the Catholic Church or Catholic entities is a libel and not true. In fact, is it not true, Mr. Sheldon, just from your agency alone, I think, maybe a few others, that the Obama administration has provided $100 million more million to Catholic entities than the Bush administration? Is that correct? From what I have seen, it is, but I can't speak with And did you testify to Mr. Tierney that, as a matter of fact, your agency, after making the decision about this grant, actually awarded subsequent grants to the Catholic bishops? That is accurate, uh, 19 million in four days. Okay. So we have we've, we've pretty much put to rest whether there is a Catholic bias in this administration. There isn't. Um, but the second, the second concern I have got is, what is, the, who, what is the mission here of this grant award? It is to service victims of sexual exploitation against their will. Is that not correct? Uh, a substantial portion of those individuals who are victims of trafficking. And is it true that the average victim is first victimized somewhere between the age of 10 and 14? Uh, the numbers I have seen indicate, uh, the, the, personally, I know of victims as young as 12. And did you indicate that one of the needs they have is family planning services, the wide array, including contraception, prevention, and treatment of sexually transmitted diseases that obviously, unfortunately, tragically come with the sexual exploitation. Is that correct? That is accurate. And did you indicate that uh, in this particular case the Catholic bishops indicated they would not provide such services? That is accurate. Irrespective of the mission of the grant? The issue of family planning services, uh, they, in, they uh, indicated they would not. And is that the reason 
why ultimately, despite their ranking, the decision was made not to give them the grant in this one case because of the mission involved? A determination was made that there were three other applicants who were uh, equally qualified who were uh, willing to provide family planning with a full array of gynecological services. I thank you. My time is up.